Good morning. Good night. Uh, good evening, chocolate lover. Welcome to Chocolate TV. This is episode 300. 300. 300. And today I thought we uh, try two chocolates on the very end of the spectrum. We got uh, Sambu Fristur Tare, Icelandic, some sort of candy chocolate. There's no ingredients list of this one. And on the other side of the spectrum, chocolate tree, huilu, huila, huila, 70% cocoa, uh, handcrafted bean to bar from Scotland. And the huila comes from the huila region in southwestern Colombia. So a Scottish manufacturer with Colombian cocoa beans, Trinitario. Uh, Icelandic chocolate candy, whatever, I don't know. I got this from a colleague. I bought this in a uh, chocolate shop. So let's open up uh, the first one. <laughs> Looks like a, a piece of chocolate, yes. Uh, slightly, slightly darker than uh, milk chocolate covering. It reminds me of maybe a 40-50% choc uh, milk chocolate uh, color. Brown. Yeah. So let's smell this one. Uh, smell kind of candle wax, sugar, hint of nutmeg as, as well and, the, and a chemical uh, scent that is very common maybe it, it's uh, uh, there's some milk in this uh, condensed milk with something else uh, usually vegan chocolates tend to smell like this when they don't use okay never mind <laughs> let's try it Thin chocolate crust shell. There's some fudge inside and something else at the bottom. Not at all sweet, more like It's more like non-sweet jelly candy of some sort. Almost a salty component. Hints of maple syrup, hint of licorice and salt. A sweet chocolate. On the other side, all these flavors are uh, stacked in different compartments. They are not flowing together and not uh, creating a cohesive piece of edible stuff. And the salty, fudgy thing is the thing that is lingering. Very odd, very strange, and um, I'm not sure I'm going to grade that one more than one out of ten as a chocolate product. As candy, I wouldn't grade it that much either. Though I love salt and licorice hints, but this is kind of bland, muted. So I'm going to give this one. Yeah, I'll give this one out of ten. Uh, well, let's move on to what should be the other end of the spectrum is 70% cocoa handcrafted in Scotland with Colombian beans and uh, Trinitario beans let's open this one up oh 
I've mistreated this one, I think. A little bit discoloring on the edges. Otherwise, very dark brown with a, a slight hint of red to it. Let's crack it. You heard it. Very good. Best before April 2018. It's not too old. Let's smell it. Chocolate powder, tea, mahogany wood. If you ever uh, sandpapered mahogany, it kind of leaves a, a, a kind of dark scent, actually. I'm, I built a whole s uh, small sailing boat in mahogany when I was in my teens. Brooding dark uh, scent. Okay, let's try it. First off, bitter chocolate, then chocolatey, full chocolate. Very much chocolate, dark chocolate powder, dark chocolate cake, dark chocolate everything. Not so sweet as a cake, but still you you get the drift of it. Actually, some you mix in some coffee or black tea to this. You got this mocha tea coffee blend. That's what it feels like on my palate right now. No sweetness whatsoever, but there's a hint of acidity that helps to balance the bitterness. Slow melting, dense, dark brooding chocolate. Dry, drying out the palate completely. Very nice, chocolate-wise. And the long, dry back end with cocoa powder as the predominant uh, feature. Mm -hmm. Nice chocolate. Uh, this is a, a, the kind of chocolate I like. If, I wouldn't have liked it even more if it had a, some sort of citrus note or another nut flavor uh, that you usually can be brought around by roasting or fermenting or something uh, differently. But very nice. I give this out t 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. That's a high score. I have never given a 10 yet. So uh, if there's any chocolate uh, manufacturers out there, contact me, send me a piece of chocolate, see how, if I can find that number 10. I find some nines, a lot of eights and sevens. This is an eight. Nice brooding dark chocolate without being too bitter, too tart. And um, no, it, it's episode 300. Let's take another chocolate. Um, Let's take Malmö, sorry, Malmö Chocolate Factory, and this is their 65% cocoa, and it is uh, orange zest, orange peel. They're ecological, 65%. Let's see, the ingredients list is cocoa mass, cane sugar, cocoa butter, and natural aroma. Orange, 65% orange aroma. So there's not any oranges in this one. Mm. Come on, let's open up.
also 65%, uh, quite dark for 65%, uh, dark, dark, dark brown, dark brown chocolate. Uh, I can feel, my nose can pick up the scent with no problem. Has an orange scent of it. I wonder what the aroma is. It only says aroma, natural aroma, orange. So is it orange oil or is it, is that orange peel? It says orange peel on the cover, orange peel, yeah? Have they made an oil out of the peels or have they, because there's no pieces of orange peel inside the cocoa bar itself. Nope. So it must have made some sort of smelling and tasting. Lots of orange. And lots of orange peel. Yes, I would say peel, not orange juice, not orange flesh, the fruit, but the peel. The hints of dry cocoa behind that, but the orange scent is overpowering everything else. So I'll try this one as well. Kind of sweet, kind of orangey. More like orange mandarin. Different kind of citrus fruit. Almost makes, my memory says, oh, it's Christmas. A lot of chocolate have orange flavor. We have, uh, during Christmas in Sweden, we have a lot of uh, citrus fruit. And all the fruit bowls, it's mandarins, it's uh, satsumas, it's orange, it's pomelo, it's whatever. Melts away, kind of watery, but dry. Dry water, have you heard of that? Lots of orange flavor, but they're also cocoa. There's dry cocoa. There's a hint of red tea, rooibos tea. And the orange mixed with the sugar creates almost a honey-like flavor. If you added clove to this, you got a, a total uh, Christmas spirit, but no. Dries out your mouth. Um, yeah, the power of uh, the chocolate and the orange on the palate is quite medium. It's uh, mild. It doesn't overpower anything. The, the orange is there. The chocolate is there. But on the nose, the orange overpowers everything. Uh, I think I give this one six out of ten for actually a good cocoa flavor inside that orange shell because it's an orange uh, smell shell an orange aroma bowl uh, and also an orange uh, flavor bowl but there's a lot of dry cocoa red tea the only thing I miss is really uh, some sort of acidity and uh, more uh, maybe a, a hint of bitterness to balance this all together. But six out of 10, that's not bad. That's also an ecological product. So we've done three different, we got done some sort of Icelandic candy with no ingredients list, a uh, handcrafted cho uh, chocolate bar from Scotland with uh, a good heritage of the cocoa beans, where they come from and how they've been made. And uh, from Sweden, Malmö, uh, with some esoteric or uh, perfumed or flavorful oils inside the cocoa mass of orange. And that's it for episode 300. I hope you have enjoyed, enjoyed them all. And I'll 
see if I do some more, maybe next time.